Place Landscaping Cells Work has been progressing on the proposed site development project, including the addition of some landscaping symbols. This will continue by placing additional symbols or cells using the Place Active Cell tool. There are a variety of settings to control size, rotation, and AccuDraw can also be useful in aligning cells correctly. In this lesson, you will place landscaping cells on the proposed site plan. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will learn Attach a cell library Place active cell Element templates Item types Select and place cell Element properties Let's begin by opening the proposed site plan DGN file. This is located in the DGN 07 Working with Cells folder. Once we've entered completely into graphics, using the zoom in, let's zoom in to the location shown. We'll start off by attaching the landscape cell library. From the annotate ribbon tab, Use the Dialog Launcher to open the Cell Library dialog. In the Cell Library dialog, select File, Attach File. Navigate to the folder, Standards, Cell. In the class dataset, pick landscape.cel. And once you've done that, go ahead and click Open. We can now close the Cell Library dialog. Next, we're going to be setting the active element template. From Attributes, Expand Templates. An element template is a named set of element properties that can be used to help increase consistency when drawing. They can set active settings when placing new elements or be applied to existing elements. Element templates can be used to set attributes such as level or color, apply a textile, control hatch and pattern settings, or attach an item type. An item type is a user-defined set of properties used to describe an object or an element. Item types contain items. Items can record a manufacturer, installation date, maintenance information, part number, billing code, etc. Item types can be used to label, report, or change the display of elements or objects. Door schedules and signage reports are some of the real-world examples where item types can be used. Observe the various template groups. In the tree planting template group, pick Water Oak. Enable the Element Template Association lock icon. Water Oak has been made the active template and the template association enabled. Any element now being placed will inherit the properties associated with the template. Take note, as a best practice, element templates are best delivered to users via a configured design library, as is used here. Elements that are associated to an element template have the ability to be updated if the element template is modified. Updates are provided through the key in DGN lib update templates. Now the next thing that we're going to do will be adding a water oak tree to the landscape design. From the home ribbon tab in the placement ribbon group go ahead and pick place active cell. In the tool settings window click the Browse Cells icon. Hint, this opens the Cell Library dialog if it's not already open. From the Cell Library dialog, it is possible to browse the list of available cells, select a cell, preview a cell's contents, set the usage of a cell, such as for placement, use in patterning, etc. From the list of cells, pick tree water oak 
and verify that this is set as the active cell for placement. As can be seen, tree water oak is already set as the active cell. This cell was set as active when the element template was selected. You may now close the cell library dialog. The cell is now ready for use in the proposed site plan. Take note, setting the active cell is but one of many settings that can be automated through the use of element templates. In the place active cell dialog, go ahead and set the following. For the active angle, zero. For X and Y scale, 12. Enable true scale. Using AccuDraw, offset the cell nine foot in both the X and Y directions from the corner of the building as shown here. Now that we placed a water oak, we'll be now adding to our plan a silver palm tree. Set the active element template to landscape, tree planting, silver palm. Set the active cell as tree, silver palm, and set the X and Y scale to eight. From the corner of the sidewalk, offset the tree eight foot in the X and Y directions. Reset when complete. In our next step, we're going to be reviewing the properties of a tree. From here, make the element selection the active command. Now we're going to hover the cursor over the silver palm tree, making the tooltip appear. Here you can see the name of the cell, the specific element type nearest the cursor, and the level the element is on. While this can be helpful, additional information may be seen by viewing the cell properties. With the cursor over the cell, press and hold the right mouse button picking Properties. The Properties dialog opens, displaying information related to the selected cell. Now we're going to review the properties of the cell. In the Properties, you will be able to see detailed information for the cell. This includes general information, such as the cell name, each element the cell is made of, and in this case, the attached item data. In Properties, locate the tree planting category. Here you can see the item number, description, etc. The items included in the item data was determined by what was desired for reporting. This can vary based upon the type of information that is desired for various types of objects within a design and can be configured accordingly through item types. Next, select the water oak tree reviewing the item data attached to the cell. With the element selection as the active tool, data point anywhere in the view to deselect the cell. In our next step, we're going to be placing additional tree cells. So let's go ahead and zoom to the lower half of the building as shown. Set the active template to landscape, tree planting, cabbage palm. The element template sets the active cell as tree cabbage palm. Now using the place active cell tool continue to place palm trees as shown. Next, we are going to be adding some additional shrubs. Zoom in to this location here. From attributes, set the following. For the element template, none. Disable the element template association. From the home ribbon tab, in the placement ribbon group, pick select and place cell. Similar to using copy element, this tool is used to place additional instances of a cell. 
if the copy element tool was used, where the cell is chosen could make a difference in how it was to be placed. With select and place cell, the active cell is set to that of the selected cell, and the cell is attached to the cursor by its origin. In the tool settings, set the following. For the active angle, 0. For x and y scale, 1. Pick an existing shrub with a data point. Shrub is made the active cell for placement and is attached to the cursor. Complete the shrub placement as shown here, adding six additional shrubs. Next, using element selection, review the properties of one of the newly placed shrubs. As can be seen, the shrub does not contain item data. Take note, it is important to note that the newly placed shrubs added using select and place cells without the element template active have not inherited the item data from the original shrub that was used to place them. Now, in our next step, we're going to be adding item data to the new shrubs. From the Home Ribbon tab in the Modify Ribbon group, pick Change Attributes. Item data may be added to elements in a variety of ways, including the Attach Item tool, through element templates during placement of the element, and also by assigning an element using Change Attributes. In the Change Attributes tool settings, enable only Template and set the template Landscape, Shrub Planting, Saw Palmetto. In Attributes, make sure that the Element Template Association lock is enabled. In turn, pick each of the six newly placed shrubs with a data point, applying the Element Template. Review the properties of one of the updated shrubs. With element selection as the active tool, place a data point anywhere within the view window to deselect the shrub cell. In our next step, we're going to be placing shrubs along the proposed site development drive. Zoom in to the location shown here. In attributes, Verify the following. Element template is set for saw palmetto. The element template association is enabled. Next, pick place active cell. In the tool settings window, as needed, set the following. Zero as the active angle and X and Y scale set to one. Using AccuDraw, place a shrub, offsetting the shrub four feet to the right. Continue placing shrubs spaced six feet apart until there is a total of 11 shrubs. Now that we have the shrubs placed, we're going to be adding palm trees along the driveway entrance. Go ahead now and zoom in to the location along the entrance to the proposed site. Set the active template to Landscape tree planting, cabbage palm. Enable the element template association. Pick place active cell and set the scale for 12 for both the X and Y scale. Using place cell, place a series of five cabbage palms, each 20 feet apart with each end tree centered on the adjacent arc segment. During this lesson, you placed landscaping cells in the proposed site design. In doing so, you learned how to attach a cell library and set the active cell for placement. The Select and Place Cell tool was also used to continue placing the same cell that had already been placed in the design file. Once cells had been placed, 
they were reviewed using the tooltip displayed by the cursor and also using properties. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.